UFO expert Nick Pope has revealed that NASA is funding theological conferences because they want to get ahead of the game. UFO expert Nick Pope believes NASA is quietly funding theological conferences due to suggestions that the presence of UFOs could have something to do with demons or negative spirits. Speaking to Patrick Christie's on GB News he said that NASA wants to get ahead of the game. Pope said, I don't believe in demons myself but a lot of people do and certainly the Bible talks about these things in terms of unclean spirits. There is probably a faction still in both the US and the UK that thinks that some aspects of the UFO phenomenon are demonic. One of their reasons for believing that is a passage in the book of Ephesians in the Bible that talks about Satan as being the prince of the power of the air. I think that it is undeniable that many of the world's great religions have in recent years started to think seriously and do some theological debate about what the consequences would be of discovering extraterrestrial life. We know that the Catholic Church, for example, has issued several statements on this. One of them said that there's no doctrinal objection to the existence of aliens because as they put it, man may place no creative limits upon God. NASA has quietly put in a bit of funding to theological conferences that have talked about this. I think it's more a case that they're hedging their bets and they're thinking if it's true, they want to get ahead of the game this time and not get caught up in the sort of science versus religion dogfight that we saw in the Middle Ages, for example, with Copernicus and Galileo. The former Ministry of Defense worker also explained that, we can't rule out any possibility of extraterrestrial life. Christie said, there appears to be some division online, as there always is when you're dealing with topics like this as to whether or not we are dealing with extraterrestrials, whether we are dealing with technology that is either friendly in terms of US or Western, or whether it's China or Russia or whether or not there is some presence of life that predates human existence here in this world. I mean, there's a lot of talk about whether or not Antarctica is some kind of base for a civilization that has been here a lot longer than we have. What do you make of that? The UFO expert responded, One point there is that none of these theories are mutually exclusive. It's possible to envisage a scenario where all of those things are true, that we have an extraterrestrial presence, and that some UAPs are attributable to secret prototype aircraft, missiles and drones, sometimes ours, sometimes from an adversary. And yes, even the idea, I think I've heard it called the crypto-terrestrial hypothesis, the idea that there's another intelligence that we share this planet with and that they're down there somewhere under the oceans, under the ice. I think I'm a little bit skeptical about that because I think we'd have picked up more signs of them and if they were that advanced they'd have done things like launch satellites that which we could then detect. So I'm less sure about that. But having said that when you listen to some of the US intelligence community whistleblowers, People like David Grush, they are very careful in their terminology and they use the phrase non-human intelligence. The reason they use that phrase is that they don't limit this to just the idea of extraterrestrials. But they even consider things like what if there are other hidden dimensions and something is intruding from one of those. Now that sounds like science fiction but you know the Large Hadron Collider, the Big Particle Accelerator is actively looking for those sorts of things. So yesterday's science fiction is today's science fact. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video to support UFO section 51 and subscribe to the channel to join our community. Live long and prosper.